Why is it so, look at this. What's going on here? Money, money, money. Money. Jeez. What the f Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex and what we're going to do today is compare old versus new Bentley 8 versus Bentley Mulsan EWB, extended wheelbase. It is massive. This car today costs £5,000 and this car today costs £300,000. So the plan today is to take a look at both cars and find out what 30 years of progress looks like. And because the Mulsan is going out of production after 10 years of loyal service, now is also a nice opportunity to say goodbye. To kick things off though, let's start with the boxy and beautiful Bentley 8. The doors sound immense. There's not actually a lot to talk about, except it's leathery, comfortable, buttery, but in terms of tech, not really a lot going on. Jack, does the aircon work? No. Aircon doesn't work. All right. Inside, we've got lots of wood. We've got some electric buttons, electric seats. Do they work? Half of them work. Half of them work. Okay, we'll move on from that. But the riding position is all right. It's a good motorway cruiser. Electric windows work. It's comfortable. You've got the big stalk here. Am I missing anything, Jack? No, I think you got it all. And that's it? There we have just a massive piece of V8 pig iron. Power output on this, around 240-ish horsepower. Bentley called it adequate. Adequate. I would also call 240 horsepower adequate. Still running all right, Jack? Yes, it's running a lot better than we had it. Okay, and the reason why I asked, Jack, is because we sold it to your dad, didn't we? He got a right good deal. He was like, watcha! I'd like to buy your Bentley, boys. Really interesting thing as well. Back in the 90s, stupid big wheels weren't a thing. So this car is riding on 15s. My MX-5 has 15s. The rear of the Bentley 8. And prepare for a world of disappointment. Now I'm 5 foot 11. No. 10. 5 8. I'm 5 foot 7. Jack, this is your driving position, isn't it? This is... This is not good, is it? I'd probably have my lady of the night stooped in the passenger seat, front and back. They would probably charge me extra. Is it Consuela? Consuela and her cousin, Von Suela. 30 years later, it's still running. It still looks cool. Arguably, it looks more cool today than it did 30 years ago. And it's one of those cars when you drive it around. Oh shit, why is that so on the piss? Why is it so, look at this. What's going on here? I, I don't know, maybe that's how he wanted it. It wasn't like that when we gave it to your dad. Well, it's been fixed, doesn't it? This does not look fixed, Jack. This looks f***ed. It's amazing what you can get for £5,000 these days. This is proof. We've taken it on a road trip. It's been awesome. Anyway, this is the Mulsanne EWB extended wheelbase. It's huge. I mean, just look at it, Jack. It's 5.8 metres long. That's 230 inches. It's like... Big. Look how long it takes me to walk across it. Halfway. And you're probably asking, why do I have a brand new Mulsan with an old Bentley 8? Well, this has also got a six and three quarter litre V8. So while the 30 year old Bentley 8 and brand new Mulsanne look worlds apart now, they do share the same heart, which after 61 years and 36,000 of these hand built engines leaving the factory has now been discontinued in favor of the four litre Audi Porsche developed twin turbo unit borrowed from parent company VW Group. The old L series V8 was first used in the 1959 Bentley S2. Back then it developed 180 horsepower, whereas these days and thanks to turbo charging, that figure hit up to 530 horsepower and 811 pound-foot of torque. These aren't quite the numbers produced by the Mulsanne you see here, however, but trust me when I say that they're more than adequate. We'll talk more power in a little bit. All right, let's get started with the front, where one's chauffeur would be sitting. Everything feels, you know, 300 grand's worth. It's amazing. Even the little drawer that comes out, you got a little USB in there. There is literally not a stitch out of place. The headlining is impeccable. It's just one of those cars you sit in and you just know that loads of old men have just poured over every single detail in this car. Bentley badge is there and on the seats as well, it's all stitched in. The seats, look how fat they are, Jack. Can you see the girth? What would you put in there, Jack? Chocolate bar. One chocolate bar. 
Maybe like a, a Twix extra large in that one. And what would you put in here? Uh, Kit Kat Chunky. Kit Kat Chunky, that's a strong choice. What's that, Jack? That is for a drink. Really? Rich people still smoke? Cigars, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. What I do really, really like is these dials. They are super classy. These vents are just exquisite. Listen to that. That just screams money. Money, money, money! Money! Ooh, technology. SD cards and stuff, you could do your edit in here, Jack. Let's find out what life is like in the back, shall we? And now a quick announcement to tell you about the Car Throttle podcast that we're launching on Monday the 8th of June. It'll be available to watch on YouTube and you'll also be able to download it on Spotify and wherever else you like to listen. We'll discuss your car stories, argue about unpopular opinions, and we'll feature special guests who don't hold back. So tune in this Monday and wrap your ears around the brand new Car Throttle podcast. Oh yeah. Well, the first thing we have to do is to test the plushness of the carpet. Oh, it's giving me carpet burns on my forehead. Could be plusher, a little bit disappointed. However, when you sit back, the first thing you notice is leg room. Look at that. That's how I want to be in the back of my Bentley. And what I like is that you get cushions as well. That's a good cushion. And it smells like success. <gasps> I thought that would move the seat forward. It's given me a screen. <gasps> This is why the seats are so fat. I've just worked it out. Oh, you can have your in-flight meals as well. Very lad joyous. Buttons. Oh, it's a blind. Whoa, that is so dark. I can't see anything. What's under here, Jack? Have a guess. Blender. Blender. Oh. Oh, wow. I've got all the seat controls here. Oh, the, se <gasps> the seats can also be cooled and they can be warmed. Bentley. Oh, that's my headrest. Why would you want this? I think it's getting there. Oh, it's hurt my neck even more. Oh, that's better. I'm getting a massage. It's more of a ball tickle than it is a deep tissue massage. What's there, Jack? Oven. Oh. Shut up. That's insane. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. That's nice. It just tilts, which is very cool, but I want to feel like I'm in my prom. I want to be able to hang out, you know, just like with a glass of bubbly, just be like, ah! <laughs> should we go for a little drive and see what that's like? Yeah. And you know, the funny thing is I have to drive the Bentley 8, the old one by myself, whereas you're allowed to come in this one because like you'll be two meters away from me. If you're sitting here, my head is all the way over there. We won't be able to touch. Right then, welcome everybody to the interior of a 30-year-old Bentley 8, six and three-quarter litre V8, non-turbo, very mechanical, leather, wood. There's not really a lot to say about this car. It is, in modern terms, very basic. Nothing is digital, everything is analog. And to drive, it's a really analog car as well. You feel pretty dialed in, it's properly wallowy, and it is just you controlling the car. There's no driver aids, there's no nothing. It's actually really refreshing to be driving a car that doesn't do the driving for you. So that's awesome, big tick in that respect. It's a really honest old car. Remember this is 30 years old. And after all of these years and 145,000 miles, it's still chugging along, still robbing banks. Probably, I don't know, Jack's dad now owns it. I don't know what he gets up to, but they're from Essex, so they could be up to anything. This is a car that you always know will start. It's reliable old dog. And it's a comfortable old dog at that. And people look at you and you think, oh, I reckon he's a bit of a understated baller, which is a nice feeling. You don't want to be too flashy. You don't want to be crass. This car is not crass, it's just pure class. And that's what I like about it. Now with around 240 odd brake horsepower, it's not a fast car. And that isn't this car's remit. Comfort, elegance and style is, and that's what this car nails. But I wouldn't want to be sitting in the back of it too long because the rear seats are actually, there's not a lot of room. They look comfortable from a distance, but not ideal. I'm going to put it out there. I would rather be driving a Bentley 8 than sitting in the back. Whereas with the brand new Bentley Molsan extended wheelbase, the opposite applies. So why don't you say we go and check that out? 
Right, what button do I push to, for it to put my seatbelt on for me? You push the butler button. Is that you? No, it's not me. It's not me, I'm not wearing a hat. Choppy, choppy. Shut up. Anyway, before we begin, Jack's obviously in the car with me. We are still maintaining two meters distance from each other. The car is well ventilated. We've got all the windows open. Jack, how do you feel in the back? I feel complete. No, nah, actually I don't. This is the roughest anyone's ever looked in the back of a 2020 yeah. bed. Let's go for a little drive, shall we? Let's see what you think. How much do you know about this car? I know that it's called a Bentley. How much power do you think this has got? Four ton. Four ton, 400. What about torque? Torque's important, isn't it? 500. Pound foot. Nought to 60. How much does this weigh? Just over 2.7 tons. Eight seconds. Top speed? I don't know, I'm just plucking numbers out of my arse, aren't I? 180. Right, I'm gonna floor it, ready? Yeah. Jeez! <laughs> what the f This is like how bumblebees aren't supposed to be able to fly, and yet they do. <laughs> Oh my word! Right, I'm going to tell you the numbers, Jack. Horsepower figure, you said 400. Yeah. The actual number is 505. Oh, I wasn't that far off. I mean, you're like a fifth away. The torque, you said, what was it, 500? 500, yeah. It's actually 750 yeah, well. pound foot of torque, which is over a thousand newton meters of torque. Not to 60, Jack. You said eight seconds. <laughs> because you said it weighs 2.7 tons. I didn't that. lie about it, Jack. Do you want to have another guess? Six point. Keep going down. Really? Yep. 4.8 seconds. Off. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. That's what their numbers are telling me, man. At the top speed, Jack, you said 180. It's 190. But just, just get your head around those figures. 2.7 tons, 190 mile an hour top speed, 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. That's quicker than Phil, my V6 MX-5. That doesn't make sense in my head. So no, I wouldn't have thought it'd be any less than eight for something that weighs this much. The whole point of this car is what's going on in the back. And Jack, tell me, what are your emotions? Are you comfortable? Well, I am. I'm more shocked than anything at the performance of this thing. It's hard to get comfortable when you know you don't belong and yeah. your time is limited. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm yeah. telling you, it's limited. You've got 10 more minutes. I know, here. I've just counted down. It's making me yeah. sad. My groin is getting blasted. How does it compare the rear of this to the Mercedes S-Class? Well, see, this is three times the money, isn't it? Yeah. The S-Class does a really good job, actually, when you compare it to this. Yeah. It feels like it almost gets there, but this just has those little bits, do you know what I mean? Where the, like the quality of it, just finishing it off. It's like that last 200 grand went into the quality. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Like the ideas are the same, do you know what I mean? Everything that it does are the same, but the, the way this executes it is just... A, a, it's on another level. It's on another it? level, yeah. yeah. Bentley 8 is a car that you drive, you don't get driven in really. Whereas I'm finding with the Bentley Mulsanne, I kind of get the feeling that I would enjoy being in the back as much as I do enjoy driving it because having that power on tap is really addictive and it does feel good to drive. Ah, oh, what time is it? Half seven. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be leaving any time. Cheers, mate. Oh my God, he must have looked at me and thought I was your driver. Well, yeah, he would have. Oh he? no. Can you go back and tell him? No. Go back and tell him I'm, I'm not, not your driver. I'm, I'm spoiling the illusion. Let just that one man on the planet think <laughs> that I have a driver. <laughs> and there you have it, the Bentley Mulsanne gets a big tick from the driver's perspective. And Jack? Big old tick. So to the Mulsanne, may you rest in peace after 10 years of loyal service. And thanks for showing regular car guys like Jack and I just how special a vehicle can be. Because driving and sitting in the back of a Mulsanne is something we'll never forget. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, Jack? Show us out, please. If you want to watch some more Car Throttle videos, then click here. And if you want to subscribe, click here. And we will see you in the next one. See you soon, guys. Jack, get out. Out. Do I have to? Out now. <sighs> I can't. Oh, yes. It doesn't want me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye.